Welcome back subscribers and welcome new viewers to July 2023 general monthly reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, North or South Nodes of the Moon. I want to thank each and every one of you who have subscribed, who like and share my videos because that helps my whole channel to circulate to more and more individuals who are in need of this information just like you. Okay, Sagittarius, let's look at the transits really quick. Today I am taping on July 3rd, the full moon, and this full moon is in Capricorn, and it's 11 degrees, 19 minutes. The new moon will be on the 17th, and it will be in Cancer, and it will be just minutes away from being 25 degrees. We have Mars and Venus currently conjunct in Leo through the 10th. And then on the 11th, Mars is going to go into Virgo, which then is going to be opposing close degree with transiting Saturn, which is and has been since March in Pisces. And then we also have Pluto is now back retrograde into Capricorn for the rest of the year. We had a little bit of a, an introduction with Pluto being in Aquarius, and we will have that um, continue mid-January of 2024 for most of next year, 2024. So that's going to be awesome. But until then, it's retrograde. It begins at 29 degrees. And then by the end of the month, 27 degrees. And I forgot to mention transiting Saturn and Pisces is retrograde right now. So it begins at seven degrees. And then by the end of this month, five degrees. And then we also are going to have North Node, transiting North Node in Taurus, which has been there for a while now. It is going to transition on the 18th into North Node in Aries. Okay, so with that being said, let's get to your reading. And Sagittarius, if this reading isn't right for you, that's perfectly okay, because your natal planets and the transiting planets that are hitting your natal planets are going to be unique for each and every one of you. So you might want to try your moon, your rising, or your north or south nodes of the moon. Okay. So Sagittarius, what is happening for you this month of July? Okay, we have the card Libra. And Libra's all about balance, balancing out your emotions, balancing out your checkbook, balancing out your security I just got, balancing out your relationship with another or others. Because that's the natural house of the seventh house, Libra is, and that has to do with all kinds of partnerships, business partnerships, family partnerships, uh, romantic partnerships, friendships. And I'm going to just read what this card says. This energy is diplomatic and gracious. It seeks harmony and balance in relationships. So again, that is your focus. And some of you, maybe you have heavy Scorpio placements because that reading I just did for July is specifically talking about relationship, romantic relationships. So you might want to check that out, but if that sounds right for you. Okay, so let's see. Also, I'm getting, for some of you, justice is coming. The scales are going to be balanced out for you sometime this month for some of you. Okay, so let's, let's take one of these cards and see what else for Sagittarius. And 
maybe some of you are going to choose to, you're, or you're going to be able to relax and just rest to balance out all the busyness that you have had to do in the past month or so, I'm getting for some of you as well. Might be able to, maybe some of you are taking a trip to, to go and relax. Okay, let's see. Sagittarius. So we have, okay, soul craft, which is number 10. So what I'm getting is you could be um, beginning something new having to do with your sole purpose, having to do with a specific ability that you have, uh, something new that you have just recently, uh, whether you just recently realized that you have this gift, you have this specialty, and or you've known it, but you haven't put it out there for others to share that with others, and now you're doing that. So it's new being put out into the world. Again, whether that is a new gift you have or something that you have just been keeping to yourself that you might not have even thought was a specialty or something very unique and that others would, would really like and could benefit from. But regardless, you're putting that out there this month I'm seeing for some of you and also I just got to for some of you maybe you're preparing to put that out in August okay and then we have number nine soul journey yes okay so you have been in the past recent past whether it was last month last six months last couple years you have been on your soul journey and you've been working through things and whatever that you have been working through is now complete and now you can see a specialty a with soul craft number 10 so it's been a step-by-step -step process and now you have something to show for it and now you can you're going to be putting that out in the world or you have the ability or the choice or you're seeing that yes you can put this out in the world now because and, and you can benefit people from what you have personally worked through in your own personal world and life and journey. You have something to share. You have something to share with the world. And if you don't know this yet, then sometime this month of July, you are going to see that yes, in fact, you do have and then you'll make preparations and whether it's this month or in August, actually be putting that out into the world so that others can take benefit and benefit from that. It's another skill, maybe it's a skill. I just got the word that you have that you didn't realize or that going through this journey you have honed that skill enough to be able to know that you can put that out there and you can benefit others with this information or whatever you have to now share that you have um, created and that and honed that skill okay for yourself first and that's how you know it works is because you've you've done it you've actually done it experientially and so you know for sure that this will help others okay and maybe this is gonna you see that this is gonna balance the scales for you uh, for them again generally maybe in the world or individually for certain individuals having to do with maybe it has to do with relationships what you've been working through for some of you okay okay 
I just got, now you can hang your shingle out there for all the whole world to see and you will be well received. Absolutely. And I just got to, maybe some of you are writing a book or you're going to write a book and this actually also will absolutely benefit, be a great benefit for all that read it and see it. And you will gain recognition and respect. Okay. For what you've gone through personally that enabled you to share and help others. Okay. Okay, so I'm being called. I have not used these cards in a long time. And I don't remember what they're called. Oh, galactic something. Galactic something cards. Okay, so let's just see what comes out for you, Sagittarius. Oops, not shuffling very well. Shuffling's not my strong suit. <laughs> I openly admit that, <laughs> but I do shuffle before, so, but I'm going to do one more time, I feel like. I need to just kind of, I haven't used these in a while. Okay. So, what does Sagittarius, what do they need to know? More details about this month and what they're discovering within themselves and their, what they have, the value that they have to share. Oh, wow. Okay, there we go. Let's check this out and see. Okay, so first out is number 84. And eight adds up to be nine, ten, eight, 12. And this is forgiveness and gratitude. Forgiveness and gratitude. And there is a dolphin on there. And this is coming from the Cetacean dolphin. And it's parallel. So it's parallel to the world that you're living in right now, the Cetacean dolphin. So what I'm getting to is... And you could also have, again, Scorpio in your chart, because I just about said Scorpio. And um, you also, Sagittarians, have or are getting, just like Scorpio is getting intuitive uh, communication. And you could actually also, some of you, could specifically be getting information from dolphins. Maybe you're going to interact with a dolphin a real dolphin I'm getting for some of you. Again, that's specific. It's not all of you, but also you could tune in. Maybe you just naturally tune into the Cetacean group, which they are a, they're part of the dolphins are part of the Cetacean mammal group, whales, dolphins. And maybe you love dolphins. Maybe you're drawn to dolphins. Maybe seeing dolphins is going to, there's something with dolphins this month for you, Sagittarians, at least some of you. And forgiveness and gratitude. Being thankful. Being thankful for what you have. Being thankful for who you have in your life, I'm getting. And being thankful for what you have gone through. All of the hardships that you, your soul journey has been a part of. And maybe you haven't been able to be thankful and grateful for those players in your specific play that brought attention to and assisted you in going through some of these hard experiences that you had to go through, that was necessary for you to go through in order for you to be able to come into balance with who you truly are. And and if you know your natal wheel and you've been working through your nodes of the moon, your south nodes specifically, that is also definitely I'm getting speaking to you. And if you don't know what your nodes are and you don't know what your south node is, because our south node for all of us, we all have one, and that is our personal work in this life. And so if you would like to know what that is, you want more information, I'm being called to say, or you want a private reading from me online or in person, please send me an email or, um, yeah, send me an email 
thecreativewoman369 at gmail.com. Okay. Uh, the next one out is number 99. So 99. Again, here, look at 999. This card. 99 and so 999 is another essential number for you, which is just also showing that that could be definitely a, a sign or synchronicity for you this month. But you are at the end and also mirror reflection. Wow. I was just speaking about being thankful and grateful for those that have been players in your or actors or actresses in your play because they're mirroring you. There is a mirror reflection, or maybe this is going to happen to some of you this month. And so maybe by you watching this, this is something for you to be able to, to, um, to see that, or it's a confirmation for some of you that you already, that already know this. And again, I don't know when you're gonna be watching this, but sometime in July, someone could be mirroring you to assist you and help you to finally complete a, come to completion with something for your soul. And so then you can be thankful and again, I'm just saying maybe this was the past and now you're listening to this and then this is clicking in and you're able to understand, okay, I can be grateful because that person actually, yes, he put me through it. Him or her put me through a lot of pain, a lot of heartbreak, um, brought me to my knees even, but now you can look back and be grateful because you learn something from that. You need it. You now know that you needed to go through that. And so, and you can thank them either silently in through the ethers or in person. Okay. And here we have 32 and number five, which five has to do with change. Whether this is going to happen this month for you, you're going to realize this mirror reflection and, and then be grateful or you have already done this. This has to do with linear thinking. So for some of you, I'm getting thoughts or things. And so if you're not in the gratitude and thankfulness thinking, then you this is, and, and this could be your past, maybe this was your past thinking, and now you've graduated, or that's, that's why you're graduating, is because you have, you used to do that in the past, and you're not, you're not thinking that way anymore, and now you're very thankful and grateful, so again, for some of you, that is, this is just going to be a confirmation that you're on the right tra track, and keep being thankful and grateful, and for others of you, maybe if you're still in that, I just got fear-based thinking and or angry thinking and or, yes, um, thinking in the past, keep, it, you're ruminating, is that the word, or vacillating in a past, something hap that happened to you in the past with another or others and you're still seeing and bringing up and feeling negative feelings about that, whether that's sadness, whether that's anger or um, even fear or disappointment, anything, then this is encouraging you to take another look and see what you learned. What did that experience enable you to gain? Because you've gained something positive or you can now gain something positive if you're, you haven't yet with that experience, some strength, some wisdom. Okay, and then next is number 97, which adds up to be a 16, which adds up to be a number seven. So seven could be a special number, but it's enlightenment, yes. That's what I'm getting, and this is future. 
future. And maybe for some of you that, that believe in um, extraterrestrials and specifically Zeta Reticuli is a specific extraterrestrial group from this card, this um, creator who created this deck from their perception. And here you have two cards coming out. No, excuse me, three cards of Zeta Reticuli. So I'm getting very strongly that some of you will, um, you will have an understanding of that that will ring a bell for you. Zeta Reticuli. You have and one, the 99, the mirror reflection is having to do with future. And this linear thinking has to do with the past. And then this Zeta Reticuli enlightenment has to do with the future as well. So again, this could be something with the future or past or both. Again, this is a general reading. And again, not necessarily all of you are going to, to um, um, see this Zeta Reticuli if you, depending on how you see things and if you if you uh, see and believe in uh, extraterrestrials, you don't have to. I'm just putting that out there for those that do. So don't get angry. <laughs> and if uh, actually, if that brings up a feeling for you, especially a negative feeling, then that's a trigger. And so you might want to check yourself and astrologically check what transits are going on for you, Pluto specifically, and Saturn, what, what are they hitting, hard aspecting to your natal planets, and look at your Chiron too, which is an asteroid, but that is where we're all injured, and then we have the ability to be healed if we know what that injury is, and it has everything to do with reading about it, astrologically what is your zodiac sign Chiron and what is your what house is it in okay let's continue on there so enlightenment so you're gaining some type of enlightenment this month or in the New York sometime in July Okay, we have a lot of cards come out with this. And then we have 64, which equals a 10. So you have two 10s. Yes, you are, if you haven't already, definitely this month you are in process of completing something in some, some part of your soul journey. Some part of your life is ending and then new beginnings are coming. And this is devotion to service and this has to do with the Pleiades. So maybe some of you can you um, have a connection with the Pleiades and that strikes a chord in you. So you have Zeta Reticuli and Pleiades, and that's this is talking about the present time and devotion to service. So again, that could have everything to do with your soul craft for some of you that you're going to be putting that out there this month or next month in August. Has something to do with the higher mind because I was drawn again to Pleiades and that's, that could be higher mind, that could be truth, absolute um, truth coming out. Maybe you are having something to do with, with truth and sharing the truth with others as your service, your new service for some of you. Others of you, maybe that's what you're already doing. Okay, blind enthusiasm, this is Pleiades and this is the past. So where you were having blind enthusiasm about something, you're now, you're more factually, you have gotten the facts, you have gotten the truth from something that you were just blindly enthusiastic about in the past. So you've grown. You've grown wiser, and that has strengthened you, or it will. Maybe it's something that's coming up sometime in July. If this isn't, if 
that's not sounding correct for you now, could definitely be happening for you sometime this month. And this is number 42, and that breaks down into a six, which also six is all about balance. So balance and Libra. So this will assist you in balancing out if you are right now going with just blind enthusiasm and not seeing something accurately, it will, you will see clarity in that and that will be able to, because that would be a blockage that's blocking you. If you're enthusiastic about something and it's just a blind enthusiasm, then you don't want that because that's blocking you from being who you truly are and seeing something correctly, the, the truth. And so you will, you will gain that clarity this month if you haven't already. Okay, that is very, very good. Okay, Sagittarius, let's see what time it is. Okay, so I have already gone past my a lot of time that I have for myself because I'm trying to keep these uh, um, shorter. I'm trying to shorten the monthlies, but that's all right because you needed to hear all of this. And what I'm gonna do is I am going to pull one more card or you Sagittarius and then I will end the reading. Okay. Okay, one last card for Sagittarius. There we go. Freedom. Wow, you're getting a lot of um, master numbers. This is 44 and this is freedom. So this, this is all that you are learning, all that's opening up for you this month and all that you've been working through on your soul journey up to this point is all about freeing you, freeing your soul so you can be who you truly are, unabated and unapologetic. And so 44, 999, 10, 10, 99, uh, let's see, um, what else? There were some other threes, five, five, two, 55. So there you go. This is a huge month for you, Sagittarius. Awesome. Okay, well, I hope this has helped. Until next time, bye.